you made us hold on to the positive thoughts oh men you boosted us with your smile oh men oh men you've come so far guiding us to the Inspired both young and old with patience and mindfulness. We thank you, O oh Minla. We thank you. This gift that you gave us is larger than life to go ahead with confidence and smile. You gave us the direction Oh Minla You boosted us with your smiles Oh Minla You've come so far Guiding us to the right We thank you And Lalit G. We thank you for everything. A global namaste to all of you. A very good afternoon, a good evening, or a very good morning to whichever part of the globe you're signing in from. To our wonderful 99th session, Minla is absolutely proud and delighted to say this is our 99th session with the Lohana Mahaparishad. Minla. Minla stands for Meena and Lalit. Meena Ben Kagram and Lalit Soda started these Zoom sessions at the beginning of the pandemic in April 2020. Uh, to spread peace, love, happiness, and pretty much to the whole of the global community. We are delighted that today is our 99th session, and this is in conjunction with the Lohana Mahaparishad, where we are going to be discussing the mega event, the forthcoming mega event that's taking place in Kampala in Uganda, which is the Lohana International Business Forum, open to all who can attend and a huge networking event that's going to be taking place there. We are truly and eagerly awaiting to hear from our keynote speaker, Mr. Subhash Bhai Takra, who I will be introducing in just a minute or two. May I take this opportunity, ladies and gentlemen, to also welcome the president of the Lohana Mahaparishad, Mr. Satish Bhai Vitalani. And we have the chairperson for the Business Development Committee within the Lohana Mahaparishad, and the chairperson is Mr. Vijay Vaikarya. Truly delighted to welcome both of them on this forum on Minla Zoom session. To move on, let me say that the collaboration with Lohana Mahaparishad has been an outstanding contribution for the Minla Zoom sessions. So we are very happy with everybody today. And before I go ahead, I am going to request the chairperson of the Mahaparishad, Mr. Satish Pai Vitlani, to formally welcome Mr. Subhash Pai Takrar, the convener of the International Business Forum. Satish Pai, welcome on board to Minlazam session, and we request you to do the formal welcome for our keynote speaker today. So, you have to welcome you because you know we are working as a team. I really don't know, you know, whether is it 
આપણે ઘણા વખત થી ડેટિંગ કરતા હોય અને ઘરે વાઇફ આવે એની અંદર પાણી એના જેવી સ્થિતિ છે આપણે Satishbhai, thank you very much. Subhashbhai and ladies and gentlemen, before the Minla session uh, kicks on, we must and we have this protocol that we invite our superior lady, as we call her, Meena Ben, to do the formal traditional welcome for the keynote speaker, the guest speaker for today, Meena Ben. This, uh, this, this, these sessions wouldn't be taking place, Subhashbhai, unless it was Meena Ben's persistence all the way through. She is a hardworking lady at a tender young age of 77, you know, and she is pushing this like anybody and making sure that she is informing the global community about what's going on. So Meena Ben, welcome on the Zoom. And if you may continue with your traditional welcome. Subhas Bhai, this, this is for you. And that's for you. Thank you. And Subhash Bhai, this is for you. Ah. Welcome. I would also like Vijay Bhai Karya. Yes. Yeah, this is for you. And this is for you. And this is for you. <laughs> and and my favorite person in this earth, our hero. <laughs> this is for you. And this is for you. And this one has got a little orange flowers for you. Oh, wow. Special one for you, Satish Bhai. <laughs> And welcome you, everyone. Welcome. Thank you so much. Um, global namaskar to all the Raghuvanshi and my dear friends. Jampo, Karibu. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Flamingo city of Nakuru, where Lake Nakuru is famous for wildlife and flamingos. Nakuru County is the one where world famous marathon runners like Kipchoge Kiano, Kipchoge, and runners like Kipchoge Kiano, Eliud Kipchoge, and Faith are born, and many more to come. We have very old Hyrex Museum and world famous crater too. Nakuru is the fastest progressing city in the world. It is city of opportunity 
So next, you all are coming here. Welcome Lohana Mahaparishad President, Mr. Satish Bhai Vitlani, my hero, whom I call Modiji. Chairman LMP Business Development, Mr. Vinted by Karya. My cute cousin, Dr. Lalit, and myself, Zoom, are super excited to welcome you all and here who have joined in Minla Zoom and Facebook Live. Mess you welcome to our special Totoya Uganda and convener of LIBF. Mr. Satisfied Thakarar, can't wait to listen to you. Let me introduce to you Vivi Navana, our Minla MC of today's program, LIBF, Dr. Lalit Soda. Uh -huh. I take great pride in introducing this fine young gentleman. A very popular MC, a dynamic public speaker, an avid mountain trekker, a devout Srinathji follower, the backbone of Minla Zoom session, and ladies and gentlemen, I'm absolutely proud of this Lohana man who is a very successful chiropractor and a very well-known personality in his professional field. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm absolutely proud of, proud to all to welcome you all. He is a recipient of many awards and was recently awarded the best journalist award by the Lohana Mah Mahaparishad LMP, award for his humanitarian work at the House of Lords, London. Vivi and Vana, I present to you the MC of today's session, Dr. Lalit Soda. Over to thank you. Nina Ben, thank you very much for those very kind words. I appreciate it. But today, the whole thing is about Mr. Subhash Bhai Thakrar, Mr. Vijay Bhai Karya, and the Lohana International Business Forum. So ladies and gentlemen, we will quickly embark on our session. But before we do that, give me just a minute to actually introduce our wonderful guest speaker, Mr. Subhash Bhai Thakarar. This gentleman is a leading figure in the city of London, a former managing partner of a well-known accounting firm and a past chairman for the London Chamber of Commerce. He is the convener of the forthcoming, the Lohana International Business Forum taking place in uh, in Kampala in Uganda from the 19th to the 22nd of March. And Subhash Bhai is an avid student of Lohana history. And he's going to be sharing some key points about that with us on this session. So Subhash Bhai, a very warm welcome on this session with us. And we'll give you about uh, 60 seconds before we engage into our question and answer session for you to um, say whatever you want to towards this session first. Thank you, Lake Bhai, Jessica, and to everybody. Uh, and and Mina Ben also, what a wonderful way of felicitating all uh, Satish Bhai and Vijay Bhai and myself. And I noticed one thing, Mina Ben, that in each of our cases, it wasn't the same mala. In a, in a virtual session like this, many people get away with one mala, but you had separate malas for all of us. So I really applaud you for that. Fantastic. A thought process and also how you went about giving us a tilak. I wish I had something that I could have also put straight here. But uh, I'm in my study and I don't have the ability to do it. So thank you for that. And uh, Dr. Lalit, uh, I've known you for some years and uh, what a wonderful uh, kind of work that you're doing now in society. And I'm very aware of the good work that you've been doing with the the promotion of Srinathji Bhava and I was, uh, I think you are a great devotee and a uh, lot more to give to our society in time to come. So great to be on this show and I hope uh, that we will be able to uh, give some valuable information to our fellow Lohana citizens all over the world. Thank you very much, Subhash Bhai. I have just uh, uh, got a message saying that the sound or the audio is not clear. Can everybody hear us clearly? 
Can I have a, a show of hand, uh, Satish Bhai? You can, Vijay Bhai. There is a Samsung SM F926, Kanti Bhai Davda, or Electro Mac Control, Electric Mac Control. Yes, can you hear us? Give me a show of hands. Can you hear me? Yes, good. Okay, so the audio is clear. So, uh, sorry, Subhash Bhai. Uh, it just came up as a message, and I wanted to make sure everybody could hear no. you very well. No. So. Yeah, it's a pleasure, a pleasure to have you on board. And really, Suvashpai, we are so excited. So I'm just going to embark on the questions that have come up to me and want to make sure that everybody gets the answers uh, given to them. So my very first question about this uh, uh, Lohana International Business Forum is, what is it? What is LIBF? Okay, well, thank you very much. It's a good question to start off with. Well, it's, it's the uh, Lohana International Business Forum, the first ever that we've ever got in the whole of the history of the Lohana community. And it is a business forum that they're doing at the inspiration of uh, Satish Bhai Niklani, our, our LMP president, who has been keen to do something worldwide and to bring uh, our Lohana community together. And it's, it's done remarkable work in connecting with so many Lohanas all over. And there's something that is really common amongst most of the Lohanas, and that is we've got this business flair, this business acumen. We already in Mumbai with Satisfy, we've got all the top guns of our Lohanas, Chetan Bhai Chag and Rashmi Chatwani. Um, and Rashmi, uh, I am now going to be public that I introduced you to your wife, and you still haven't paid me your commission. Uh, that in mind for another time, but but this is so. This is the business forum for uh, uh, Lohana business people all over the world to meet in a unique, beautiful part of the world, which is Uganda. Perfect, perfect. Thank you. So we're quite excited about that. That this is uh, the, the way to network, to meet, and to create more and more business opportunities for our fellow Lohanas. So, Subhash, why, why Uganda? Why, why Kampala? Why out of the whole world? Why not London? Why not Paris? Why not? Well, yes, of course. Why not India? But yeah, why, yeah. why Uganda? You see, uh, this is it. I think that isn't it just an immediate surprise to you that why have you chosen Uganda? That's an interesting point in itself because no, normally people will expect London, Dubai, India. Yes. And so here it is, we are giving a unique experience to everybody. And Uganda, you see, there's a lot, lot of interesting things about Uganda. Uganda is described as the pearl of Africa. It's a beautiful part of Africa. Africa, after Asia's decade, we're going to see a real growth. And it's already taking place in Africa, particularly East Africa, where we are now going to be having this conference. So. Uh, there is a lot of information about Africa that people are not aware of. Did you know, for example, that you can put all of Western Europe, all of the United States, all of India, all of China, uh, Japan, put them all together, and then you just about fit into Africa. So Africa is such a huge continent. It's got 1.3 billion population. We talk about China being 1.3. 4 billion, India being 1.4 billion, but Africa's population is this. And most fascinating thing is that the, the way the population growth is taking place in Africa is that you are going to get a large number of youths of the world residing in Africa. So we need to know about what's going on in Africa. We need to know about the, how we can do business in Africa, how we can invest in Africa, which is very little known. And the purpose of Introducing Uganda and Africa calling as a theme of this uh, forum is just for that reason. And of course, I've got a soft spot for Uganda because that's where I was born. <laughs> wonderful, <laughs> wonderful. As Mina Ben would, would, would say. Absolutely. Yes, it's obviously going back to what our, we would call our, our, uh, a land where we were born. I think it's, it's yeah. quite a, a unique place to go to. Uh, but a great business opportunity, obviously. Now, before I move ahead, I would like to hear from this electromag control. Can you hear Subhash Pai uh, audibly? Yes. 
Okay, he can hear. So Satish Bhai, maybe something at your end that the audio may not be very clear, but others uh, I'm sure can hear Subhash Bhai clearly. Kanti Bhai Davda, can I have a raise of, yes, you can hear Subhash Bhai? Perfect, okay. So that's clear. Our audio is once again quite clear here. So uh, Subhash Bhai, um, you know what? We have people who have logged in today. There is a person from Rajkot called Pratik Cholera. There is a gentleman from Oman. There is a gentleman from Dubai. There is a gentleman from the United States. Now they're all wondering what to expect at this four day business forum. Can you give us, as a convener of this huge event that's coming up, give us some kind of an indication as to what to expect at this four day event? Okay, well, uh, the, uh, you can expect quite a lot. Uh, uh -huh. It is a business conference, so it is all about business and investment. So, uh, first of all, we are going to enable a large number of Lohana business people to be on the same platform at the same time. So, I, as Satish Bhai uh, has pointed out uh, many a times that, in fact, many Lohanas from one part of India have not met other Lohanas or to other parts of India, but now they're going to meet in Uganda. So that is an amazing uh, feat. And we have people, Lohanas coming from 27 countries, and the number is rising. It might, by the time we are finished, might be about 30 countries that we will have Lohanas, about 110 cities of the world. Um, so we got worldwide participation. Um, and now, what do they expect in that? This is where Vijay Bhai, Karya, and we've been working very hard in putting a full program together. There's also Vinay Bhai Gaura in, in uh, Uganda, who has been working hard with us, Sanjay Bhai Rugani and Sanjay Bhai Khattar, and so on. So we have now put a program together, of which consists of government officers, our own Lohana business people, leading business leaders uh, who have been around in East Africa for 150 years as a family. Uh, they will, people will get a chance to hear them and meet them. Government officers about what, what are the opportunities available in, in Africa in their respective countries. So we are showcasing Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania, and also uh, DRC and Rwanda. Uh, the, our East African community is the fastest growing part of Africa, and, and 10 out of the 20 big, the fastest growing economies of the world are African today. A large number are East African. So, so we want people to get to know Africa a bit more and understand what the possibilities are. So they will learn about that. They will also be able to do one to one business connections. We are introducing an, uh, an app or for uh, the, this conference where it's going to go live in the next few days, where uh, you will be able to, using the app that you will have as a delegate, you'll be able to connect with another delegate who you want to meet, uh, who is going to be attending the conference, so that you can plan a meeting with them in advance. There will also be a desk for B2B, a B2B desk in, in Uganda, where you will be able to connect and ask the officers there to say, I want to meet XYZ, and they will be able to connect. The whole place will be broadband linked so that you can um, connect with each other by phone or WhatsApp and so on. Um, and and the, there are also soft parts of the conference where we are going to talk about succession planning. We are going to talk about Lohana bonding. We're going to talk about uh, women in business, um, uh, youths in business. So those are other parts that are also going to take place. There, there are going to be exhibition stands. Uh, we, we had anticipated about 40 exhibition stands. We are now having to more than double them uh, well, to the demand. We've had an enormous uh, success in the demand of how many people are attending. Already, we are anticipating 650 delegates coming. When Originally, when we were sitting down to plan, we thought it would be 250. So, so we've had a great response. Um, and that itself will make the event very successful and interesting for people to attend because there's been no platform of this kind. So there will be exhibition stands for people to exhibit. So and 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 in addition, uh, there are also other uh, uh, frills that have been attached, like the excursions, uh, safaris, and and so on. Uh, maybe later we can talk about that in more detail if people might be interested in that. Sure. 
Now, this is this is vast uh, information that you've given us. This is great. This is so much happening at this International Business Forum. Now, I'm going to ask and bring on Mr. Vijay Baikaria in just a second, so if we can spotlight him for his next question. But why we are bringing him on? You know what? When you were saying this, what I've been hearing about the International Business Forum by the Mahaparishad, somebody actually expressed it to me, and we discussed this that this is like Shankar Bhagwan creating a Tandav on the Himalayan mountains. And that Shankar Bhagwan for us is the Satish Pai who has rocked the Lohana Mahaparishad and created such a huge impact for this International Business Forum, as per your. Your comments, Subhash Bhai, double the number of stands, more than double number of the expected delegates. So much is happening. So yes, Satish Bhai, this uh, LMP International Business Forum is a huge, huge success already. So my question to Vijay Bhai Karya, who is uh, from Mumbai, from the Rabin's Cable, a very successful businessman himself and a very hardworking Lohana individual, uh, giving his input to LMP. Vijay Bhai, welcome. And my question to you would be, whose brainchild is this Lohana International Business Forum? Yeah, you'll have to unmute, Vijay Bhai. Minabit, if we can help him unmute. Okay, while we are trying to get Vijay Bhai Karya unmuted. Uh, okay, we are trying. Vijay Bhai, can you unmute yourself? Wonderful. Uh, Minabin, while we can try and unmute him from our end, if you can do that, that would be great because he's unable to unmute. Uh, Ali, if you can help, please. Thanks. So lots of comments are coming up on the uh, mess a message box, the chat box. People are logging in from all over, from Rajkot, from Ahmedabad, from everywhere. So, yes, we are trying, I believe, to... Okay, we keep plugging on. We'll try and get uh, Vijay Bhai unmuted as quickly as we can. And while that's happening, I'm going to direct a question to Subhash Bhai. Subhash Bhai, there is a large audience today on Zoom, on Facebook, on Insta. Now, one thing, there was a curiosity also, that who are the kind of people or who are the ones who can attend this forum? Is it just for business women and businessmen, or is there anything else that anybody interested can join in? Okay, the, the event is predominantly aimed at business people. Uh, okay. However, a number of these business people are coming with their families, uh, to participate and also take a good look at Africa. And, and some might even travel to other neighboring countries like Kenya, Rwanda, Tanzania, and so on. Uh, the, uh, uh, so we, we have participation from quite a lot of other people. But I should just add that these are, this is a Lohana a conference. So it is aimed at Lohana business people, but we have opened up uh, uh, admission to anybody who's married to a Lohana or anybody who is, runs a Lohana business and they are members of their business team who would like to participate, uh, who may not be Lohana. So it's open to that, all those people. Okay, so quite an open uh, forum to attend and primarily business related. So while it is, while you being the convener, you will probably have a lot of information about this question that had come up to us is that what if, are there are there any policy documents with the African government or doing business with Africa? Uh, are there any um, sort of reservations with uh, the law, the policies that are being in, uh, instructed? Uh, generally, to uh, just a general comment to make, what is happening is that uh, uh, most of these East African countries are keen to grow more and more and attract uh, more and more investment. And so they are, their policies are more incentivized, you know, so they have tax holidays, they have uh, government support uh, at various levels. Say, if you're gonna do a project, you get a concessionary land 
and things like that. So there, there, there are those facilities available um, in, in, in each of these countries, but they all have their own policies. So it's difficult to be specific beyond that. Okay, as long as there is some kind of a facility where if one wanted to come and discuss about the policies, about the laws, about the legalities, then they can meet somebody in person over there. Is that correct? Yes, and we will also have some professionals speaking there who will talk about uh, the, the rules and regulations, the law of the country as well. Okay, wonderful. The other concern a lot of... Uh, First timers who are coming to Uganda uh, is 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 the concern of personal security, a bit of fear of coming to an African country, uh, like like a lot of Asians who have left the country a long time ago have this fear of coming there. Uh, can you shed some light on it? Because obviously businesses are taking place at a huge scale over there. Indeed. And, and I think it's a, it's a misnomer that uh, uh, Africa is totally unsafe or there are a lot of problems. It's not to say that there are no problems like anywhere else in the world. Even in the UK, we have incidences. But uh, if I, my best way to answer this question for you, uh, Lalit Bhai, is, is to say my two lovely granddaughters are in Uganda today. They live there. My son lives there. My daughter in lives there. My brothers live there. So I have family there. And, and if I thought it was unsafe, then, or we thought it was unsafe, then we wouldn't be doing that. Likewise, there are, there are lots of people living in Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda, even DRC. Uh, uh, we've got our uh, Chetan by Turkey is here the, in, in presence. Uh, he, he's got a massive business in DRC. Uh, and and uh, you know so so and and some of our families like the Madwanis, the Metas have been there for 150 years. My grandfather left India in 1914 and settled in Uganda. So we have uh, a history of presence, particular pre presence of Lohanas in East Africa. You know that's the big point to make is that Lohanas, the history of Lohanas is fascinating, and we've been the most adaptive community around. And and when you look at what, what our qualities were, we are, we are, a, we are a, our history is that we are a warrior class, right? We started from the borders of Uzbekistan, Afghanistan. We defended the old Bharat. You know, we were in the northwest frontier. And, and we then, as we moved on, we came down to the Multan region of present-day Pakistan. And today, there are Lohanas in Pakistan as well. They call themselves Luanas. Right, and then we moved on, and most of our Lohanas are found uh, these days, or at that time, were in, in Kutch and Saurastra. And from there, we have been again, uh, I prefer to say we are a bit nomadic, so we moved on, we came to East Africa, and from East Africa, many of us have settled in the Western world. So it's an amazing history that we've got, but we haven't, we haven't lost all our warrior class instincts. Right, so we have the capability of traveling, adapting, uh, uh, getting on with new environments, and taking on challenges. Right, and Africa, when we uh, our people first started to go to Africa, was was a jungle, but it's not a jungle anymore. I think if you go to cities like Nairobi, they are first level cities now, and and there is a lot more that that is happening. There's a, huge amount of construction activity, there's infrastructure, discovery of oil, we've got a lot going on. Sure, sure. So that's that's obviously huge business opportunities taking place in Africa. So the, in, in terms of addressing the question of uh, personal security, personal health, nobody has any need to fear as such, is there? No, not at all. People will, when they arrive at the airport, we will have uh, facilitation for them to be taken to the resort uh, safely, uh, but there's no problem at all. They can travel with their own uh, you know, public transport and still be there. It's very safe. And, and I think people need to know what the local community is like. They are very, very friendly, particularly in Uganda. Perfect. Very reassuring for the general public today. Very, very reassuring so that, hey, guys, if you are thinking about fear of personal security, don't worry about it. Uh, it's it's very, very safe to go there. And you will obviously be 
in good good hands over there. So now, uh, Subhash Pai, we're going to move on to our chairperson for the Business Development Committee with the Mahaparishad, and there is none other than our Vijay Bhai Karya, a very successful businessman himself from Rubbins, Cables, and lots more businesses, but I know one of that one that he's very popularly known from. So Vijay Bhai, welcome. And as a chairperson of the, the Business Development Committee, I have a quick question for you. Uh, and that's when we couldn't unmute you and you decided to crush everybody. So now you are here. <laughs> so you are unmuted, Vijay Bhai. Uh, let me ask you, Meenabin, if you can spotlight Vijay Bhai, please. Vijay Bhai, can you hear me? Oh dear, <laughs> muted again. He was, he was unmuted before. He was unmuted, yes, I know. I don't know what is that. Okay, Vijay Bhai, can you unmute? Okay, while we are again trying to figure that out, please don't crash us out again, Vijay Bhai. <laughs> okay, so Subhash Bhai, I'm going to direct this question to you then. I think the camera uh, likes me more. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Either there is some kind of an issue where they're unable to unmute themselves because I know Meena Ben has given permission to be unmuted. Meena Ben? Are we okay? Can you can you unmute oh, yourself and, and tell me we are okay on our end? Yeah? Okay, fine. I can see her nodding her head. Uh, okay, so that's okay. We'll we'll just we'll get you unmuted very shortly, Vijay Bhai, one way or another at your end or at our end. Well, maybe, uh, maybe while I do that, that on the phone with you. He can speak on the phone. Maybe. Ah, he's unmuted. He's unmuted. There we ah. go. Vijay Bhai, welcome, welcome. Are you man namago, please, Marabai? <laughs> okay, we are all okay, Meena Ben. We are okay, Satish Pai. Vijay Pai, question for yes. you. Can you hear me? Yes. You can Finally. hear me. Finally. I could, you, could, you can no, hear my can questions, hear but I couldn't hear you. Yes. Okay. Vijay Pai, welcome. And uh, I just wanted to ask you. Okay, this business, you're chairing the business development committee for the Lohana Mahaparishad based in Mumbai, where you are. Now, I need something from you. Whose idea, who was the brainchild for this Lohana International Business Forum? <laughs> oh, you want him to raise his hand? Okay. Now, yeah. while both no, of you are there, no, Satish no, Pai, no, Vijay Pai, tell me. Satish Pai, tell me, why or what was going on in your brain at the time when you thought, ah, chalo, let's do a business forum? Why? See, I tell you one thing. You know, actually, everybody, uh, we, we already have, as I told you, or uh, uh, Subhash Bhai told you that, you know, we have established contact with about 37 countries. Now, these 37 countries, you know, we could expect, uh, you know, the connection. Only, you know why? Because, you know, we are all business people. We are all individually excellent in our own fields. Now, the idea came up, you know, with, with, with the youth, I tell you. You know, I was having a meeting, you know, there in, in uh, North London. And, you know, when we talked about, you know, I said, you know, how do we bring youth together? I said, there are two things, you know, one is sports and one is money. The other one is money. These are the only two things you know, which can bring you know, people together. So the whole thing started, and in the meantime, you know, met you know uh, Subhash Bhai and Vijay Bhai and all. I said that you know, let us explore this possibility of bringing all businesses or all businessmen across the globe together at a one room. So this is all this thing, you know. I think probably uh, almost about a year now. I think you know about nine months, you know, that you know we have been pursuing you know this uh, idea that you know all businesses across the globe should get together. Because, you know, the one person, you know, sitting, suppose, you know, you remember Rasmi Bhai, you know, on the other day, you know, we were having dinner and uh, Rasmi Bhai had a friend uh, staying in the same hotel and he was, he, he was going to Hyderabad, you know, to buy cable. Then Rasmi Bhai, you know, when he came to know that, you know, he's the largest cable manufacturer, but the gentleman who, who, who from our community was going to Hyderabad, you know, leaving Mumbai and going to Hyderabad, you know, I think he was from Malawi probably. He was from Malawi came specifically to buy cable, you know, from uh, the India. So this is something, yeah, and you know, I, I, I used to ask Ketan by Kotecha that, you know, where are you, are you, you know, he's, you know, that he's one of the largest uh, importers of uh, commodities. And, you know, he is not importing, you know, from any of the Indian and Indian are doing excellent, you know, in, in, in that, that area also. 
So all this process, you know, all this made us think, you know, that, you know, how do we connect with each other? How do we explore possibilities of doing business with each other? How do we professionally connect? You know, doctors, I, for example, you know, in Manza, a case came up, you know, and then, you know, they wanted to, you know, the doctor wanted, would like to, you know, wanted to send a patient you know, to India. Now, the, suppose if you have a reference point here, then it becomes so easy for a doctor, one doctor talking to the other doctor, and that doctor, you know, can help him, you know, admit him or her in the hospital or give, or, or, or probably, you know, connect to the right doctor. So likewise, you know, there are so many possibilities, you know, we're thinking, of, uh, thinking about, but a lot of work have been put, put up, you know, by these two gentlemen and probably Vinay by Dauda also, uh, Subhash by Vijay by Karya. You know, it is just, idea is not enough, you know, that, you know, there's a lot of work behind it. And I, sure. I would like to give, you know, this, both, both these gentlemen for this. Sure, sure. Yeah, so the main reason for this idea coming to your brains is let's connect globally. Let the Lohanas connect globally from business perspective, from social perspective, from every perspective. Is that correct, Subha, uh, Satish Bhai? Absolutely. Yes, wonderful. Actually, actually now, by what Subhash Bhai said, you know, that we are basically Kshatriyas, so we fight amongst ourselves. So we said that let's turn it the other way around, let's collaborate and let's work together and a simple thing, a simple answer to this would be that all of us sitting on this Zoom call today would not have known each other unless and until we started this process. Just today, you know, we've had a three-hour conversation with Subhash Bhai. So by now, he must be tired of seeing my face also. I'm sure. <laughs> That's <laughs> wonderful. I like that, Vijay Bhai. Ekta se shakti, shakti se aki ka naam, Vijay. So if we can all unite and get that power as Lohanas and then become Vijayful, if I may use that, yeah? <laughs> so, Subhash I'm going to ask all three of you this question, the same question, and I'd like an answer from each one of you, Subhash Bhai, first to yourself, and the question is that, you know, our Lohana communities, yeah, look at the likes of the Madhwani group, the Nanji Kalidas Mehta group, Currently, we have our Damecha group, Pradeep Bhai Damecha. We have Ketan Bhai Kotecha, who is rocking in Congo and doing the international business. We have people like Gordon Das Bhai Kantaria from the African families. We have uh, not only in business, but look at this. Even in the spiritual grounds, we had Hirji Bapa from Nakuru. We have Ram Bapa. What is in this Lohana genes? So my question comes first to you, Subhash Bhai. It is what is in this genome? in the Lohana genetic makeup, that wherever they go, they are successful. First, that's the question to you. So, uh, Satish Bhai, Vijay Bhai, those questions will be directed to you too. There you uh, go, Subhash Bhai. Uh, yes, uh, Lal Bhai, you spotted it very well. This is something quite unique about Lohana community. And, and I believe it comes from the old warrior class. We, we have, in our veins, the capability to adapt into any scenario and capability to take risk and go outside. A Kshatriya would take a risk, a calculated risk, and a warrior would do that. And we have been doing that in, for many, many years. When there was nothing, when there was a jungle, the likes of Nanji Kalidas went at the age of 15, 14, 15, and, and ventured into those parts and succeeded. So we have this in our blood. There's no doubt about it. And that is the common denominator which, when Satish Bhai and we were discussing what to do worldwide, it wasn't the garbas, it wasn't the sports, but it was money, it was business. Let's stick to what is what comes out of our blood. You know, it's in our DNA. That's exactly there with us. And then when you look at the other, other, other qualities of a Kshatriya, is a protector, right? A, a warrior will protect. So we are all into many NGOs, many charities, many organizations all over the world, and we act uh, truly as a protector or charity giver or philanthropist and so on. So these are other beautiful qualities that we have got. Uh, and it's a proud moment because you know, you know that many people don't appreciate that we as Lohanas were immigrants in Gujarat. Right, we are not Gujaratis by origin. Right, our in our, our uh, we arrived in Gujarat and settled in Gujarat, but we adapted. We adapted to the level where it's become our mother language, 
It's a place where the food we eat and we've become uh, Gujaratis, as good Gujaratis as any other Gujaratis, right? But, but we are immigrants. We came from another part of the world and settled there. So it's a beautiful uh, background. And these are the qualities I believe are still around in us, right? Still around in us in a milder way, maybe, that, that are enabling us to succeed everywhere. Here, you have a story of the Ugandan Asian. I mean, we're talking about Uganda, but in 1972, all of uh, uh, Lohana and uh, Uganda Asian, predominantly Lohanas, were thrown out from Uganda, right? Some of them yes. came back and succeeded again. We were penniless, but when we came into the UK, we again made an enormous success to the extent that the British government in the both houses of parliament voted the uh, Ugandan Asians as the best immigrant group in the history of Britain. Now, now, that's an accolade that we can be all very proud about. This is what our community is about. This is what we are doing. And this is, we are, we are spread out in something like 35 countries. So let's let's have them together in one place and have a, have a, have a good chin wag, if you like. Wonderful. Thank you, Subhash Bhai. What a wonderful answer to that. Vijay Bhai Karya. Have a, if you are one of the largest cable distributors, a very successful, huge businessman, the first thing we have to do is take your blood sample and find out what is the genetics in you. <laughs> <laughs> so Vijay Bhai, Tamara genetics sukhiye chai. Why are Lohanas so successful? I think uh, we have to attribute this very correctly to the genes, but also to the fact that what Subhash Pai said, that we are basically warriors. And warriors always fight to succeed. And that's that's something that, and just yesterday, I mean, I was talking to uh, Gyan Muni Swami of the Akshardham Temple at Noida. And I said that perhaps, you know, our uh, forefathers, were more risk taking than what we have become today, and especially the younger generation, because we like to play safe and what has worked successfully for us, we want to stay within those domains. So one of the reasons for prompting and getting people out of those domains, and let me tell you when we've had a huge number of discussions uh, in the people, it was a question of igniting. Uh, that fire which was already there within us, that entrepreneurial instinct, that let's go out and do something new. So, you know, we are seeing that uh, to talk a little bit in Gujarati, so we have to basically a spark to get ourselves going again. So I think as I spark I hope Badani Ag Lage under that spirit of entrepreneurship, that spirit of going out and doing something new, and especially for the youngsters, because I think otherwise what is happening is youngsters safe pastures. They like to go to the US, they like to go to the countries where they can, you know, get settle down. They're like they are liking to take comfortable jobs and get themselves into that position. We want to drive back entrepreneurship into our community. Go out, you might get hurt. success So it is there in our blood. We are there businessmen. And yes. we've seen, I mean, around me, there are so many successful businessmen. On this screen, we are seeing uh, so many people. So I think I well, bow down to every. Most Vijay Bhai, you're, you're, actually, you're actually sitting with three of them over there. <laughs> That's right. I'm sitting between three of them. <laughs> exactly. So, thank you for your wonderful answer. Satish Bhai, I'm only going to give you 45 seconds, yeah? Not 60, 45 seconds to answer the question, why are Lohanas successful? Tamaru blood sample lay lay apne. I would like this to be answered, you know, by Chetan Bhai. Because I'm, asked, I'm going to, to ask Chetan Bhai in a second. I'm going to ask so Chetan Bhai. Out of, out of Rajkot in 1997. And he is the one who is employing 15,000 people. And 1,500 French This is not a small achievement. Now tell me one thing. That, you know, now do we really have to, you know, when we have a test case, 
you know, already you know, the, the, the person, you know, of course, he has a lot of blessings, you know, from Guruji. But, you know, this, I tell you one thing, we are entrepreneurs. We, we have a pushing nature. You know, whatever we take up, you know, we pursue it very hard. So this is our nature. And I'm very sure that, you know, we are born leaders. And that is the reason, you know, why we should be in business, you know, not in service. Because, you know, you know if, we have, if, if a person of our nature goes in service, you know, they don't, you know, work for, for long. Mm, so, you know, we are meant to be a businessman or we are meant to be professional because professional negotiates with government. So there you also get, you know, lots of uh, credit out of, I mean, lots of benefit out of the government also. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you, uh, uh, Satish Pai. I, 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 <laughs> thank you. I move on to Chetan Bhai. Chetan Bhai, after you, Rashmi Bhai, the same question will come to you. Chetan Bhai, you've got 60 seconds to answer that question. It says that we've got Kafi Apripasi questions, Che, which we want to address. So we won't take too long, but 60 seconds. Go ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Jesse Krishna, and thank you for inviting me, Satish Bhai, Vijay Bhai, today at their place. So just briefly, born and brought up Rajkot, my father had a tea shop in Southern Bajar, Rajkot, if people know Rajkot. So I know, looking at him, the way what he was doing as multitasking was one of the inspiration. Then, luckily, fortunately, I got an opportunity to join my uncle, where he called me in UK for studies, and from there went to Zaire, that is Congo in 89. And from that day, the Congo was for a couple of months or a year after finishing ACCA. It turned out to be 32 years in Congo. And I'm so blessed uh, with my family who has been always there for me. So I would like to sit, share just briefly. I think it's the, whatever has been shared with us now by Satish Bhai, with uh, Subhash Bhai and Vijay Bhai, that you know, we have that warrior in us. Now, how do you unlock that warrior or how do you make him? And that happens when you are thrown in the jungle or thrown in that water where we are all definitely a swimmer. But until you are not thrown, you are not sure about it. Will you reach that other part of the ocean? But once we are thrown, we are definitely strong enough to reach that part. And this is where I think we would like to or definitely welcome all of us in Uganda and try to learn from each other and share what we can do, how we can do. Sometimes I think we get into the criticism aspect of our own family life, which also I think it will be a good platform. And I hope we have one session to discuss, share and learn and understand with the woman in the family, in the house where we can definitely share the successes. This is where another one area, you always find a reason. If you don't succeed, sometimes we try to blame the mother at home, the wife at home or the sister at home, which is not correct. I think this is where I think again, I'm sure with the sec I mean the generation to follow us, they are very different. And as Vijay Bhai mentioned, yes, they do feel either we want to you, us to grow together, then let us do it, but don't you know just expect more from us when we are not clear or we don't see the full structure. So thanks. Looking forward to meeting all of you, and I'm sure we'll learn from each other and share the success yeah. of Luana community. Thank you, thank you, Shetan Bhai. That was a lovely answer. Appreciate that, <clears throat> Rashmi Bhai. The same question comes to you. A very successful businessman. In, in London uh, with Tanta Enterprise. So Rashmi Bhai, 60 seconds for you to answer. Why? What is it in the Lohana genome that makes them successful? Oops, are we frozen? Yeah, it looks like. I think their end is frozen. Yes, their screen is, maybe network is a problem. Okay, so we will then move on. You know, ladies and gentlemen, uh, Hasu Radia, can you hear me? Are we okay? Yes, good. So we are fine then. Um, so you know what this comes up to the discussion that was going on. So they're back on now. You can listen. Okay, they're, they're back, back on. Back. Rashmi Bhai, yeah. are you okay? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. I can, Lalit Bhai. I think okay. we've had excellent answers. We've had already excellent answers from Subhash, Satish Bhai, Vijay Bhai, uh, and a Chatham Bhai. I I think it's the the warrior spirit in us. And if you look at Subhash has discussed the case of Ugandans, Ugandan Asians came, large part of that uh, Asian who came to the UK were Lohanas. And if you now look at the last 50 years of Lohanas coming to the UK, uh, there is a very high degree of success. And that success, success can only be attributed that we are basically fighters. We will not give up. We started with corner shops. We went into uh, bigger supermarkets, into hypermarkets, 
into bigger businesses. Subhash and I have been fortunate enough, we were at university together as flatmates. And even in those days, although we wanted to become professionals, our ultimate aim was to become entrepreneurs. So it's the spirit within us. And you can pick up a Lohana from any part of the world and ultimately he'll dream of becoming an entrepreneur. And I think that's what's driving us all forward. And Thank this, you. Con this conference will, is, a, is a great news because it will bring us... Okay, they have frozen again, I think. But wonderful, Rashmi Bhai, wonderful answers. And to sum it up, Lohanas are risk takers. They are the Kshatriya, they are the Borya clan. They are entrepreneurial instinct in within them. They are go-getters. Everyone has been spot on with the Lohana genome, I think, that is making and driving them to become super successful, like our Sudhir Bhai Ruparelia, who is actually the, the resort we are celebrating this Lohana International Business Forum. He's the gentleman who is actually uh, a very, very successful Lohana person. So absolutely amazed. And one gentleman said, uh, uh, whether it was Chetan Bhai or Vijay Bhai, I can't recall now, but you said it's with the blessings, or was it Subhash Bhai? With the blessings of your guru and Govind, obviously anything is possible. And as Arjun tells, um, Krishna tells Arjun, fight. That's how, if we fight with the right intention and the right spirit, I think the blessings of Guru and Govind are always there to make us successful. So ladies and gents, wonderful answers to this particular question, which makes us feel very proud that Lohanas in whichever part of the world are fighters, are go-getters, and are successful business people. Wonderful. Now, Subhash Bhai, this question comes to you. Being the convener of this wonderful event, are there or can you give us some indication of some keynote speakers who are going to be uh, addressing that forum during the four day period? Yes, well, we have a, a, a if I can say, a star studded participation from some, some of the leading Lohanas of our uh, world. Um, and uh, many of them uh, are also luckily our sponsors so we shall have as you mentioned Sudhir Bhai Ruparelia or Dr. Sudhir Bhai Ruparelia who owns the Speak Resort where we are having this conference and uh, Speak Resort is very well known it's on the falls of the Lake Victoria and uh, so uh, we will have uh, him speak we will have a uh, number of speakers from India coming and participating, members of parliament, uh, Lord Dol Dollar Puppet is with, going to be with us. Uh, we have uh, 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 Mahendrabhai Madhwani, uh, Mahendrabhai Mehta, I apologize, Mahendrabhai Mehta in his 90s will be participating and giving his, us his wisdom. Mahendrabhai Madhwani delightfully will be with us um, and participating. There's uh, all kinds of names, Joban Putras, Chetan Bhai Chak, uh, when you see his whole video, you will be amazed about the work that he's doing. Rashmi Chetwani will also uh, participate. He's coming to Uganda, especially for this event, for which we are grateful. Uh, so we've got a lot of people. There's uh, Bipin Bhai Kantaria, uh, Bimal Bhai Kantaria from uh, Kenya. We've got Yogesh Bhai Manik from uh, Tanzania. Okay, so are they are they speakers? Are they the yes. keynote speakers? Yes, uh, and and uh, there are a number of variety of keynote speakers or chairing particular sessions uh, because we got a different format. We got plenary sessions where everybody will attend. We have got breakout sessions or uh, where panels will be sitting there. So it's going to be a good good mix of all kinds of experiences that people are going to have. Wonderful. That's a good one. The other question I have for yourself, Subhash Pai, is that there are people who are obviously considering to come, have registered, but have certain concerns about visas, about getting through to, to Uganda to be able to come in through the uh, borders, etc. Are there any tips or suggestions you can give to these listeners today? Yes. Uh, first of all, you can get an e-visa. So you can apply electronically to get a visa. And it's not that difficult. You need 
uh, your return ticket detail, you need uh, yellow fever, which is a requirement, uh, and of course, a valid passport. Um, uh, the uh, invitation or the registration for the forum is good enough for you to demonstrate that you are attending the conference. Uh, when it comes to visa application, is $45 from the UK uh, for a single entry, which gives you up to three months to travel typically. And and the uh, but you can you can have an East African visa, which enables you to go to uh, at, uh, Uganda, Rwanda, and Kenya, not Tanzania. Um, uh, during this trip, so you can go in and out of uh, Uganda to those countries if you want to. Uh, when if anybody has applied and they have an issue about uh, visa, we have a contact uh, available in uh, Uganda who can expedite the matter. I don't think anybody, if they start applying now, will face any problem in getting their visas um, uh, there. If they leave it very last, then things can get delayed. But within 48 hours, you can have the visa obtained. Okay. Okay. We've got a wonderful Deepen Barai. He can help us with the yellow fever certificates, etc. cetera. Uh, so that's good. Ladies and gents, look at the chat box also because there is some important information coming up there. Um, Subhash Bhai, you mentioned that you have a contact person who, if one is inquiring about visas, they can be assisted. Would you be able to name the person on the session today, or is there a way we can communicate this information to interested party? Yeah, we can communicate it. I, I, I don't have the detail with me immediately. Okay. Uh, but I, I, we can make it available. But you, whoever has an issue, when they register, there's a contact uh, email reference. And if they put down into that, and there, there's waiver. Uh, and and also Bharat Bhai, uh, uh, those are the two people who are dealing with all the member registration issues. So if there's anything that that they want to be connected, they will uh, be able to do it. And even if somebody sometimes some might say we need an invitation letter, then we will get an invitation letter issued uh, from the uh, Lohana Committee Uganda to for for them to come uh, uh, and participate. Thank you. So, ladies and gents listening here, Vaibhav is the contact person. Message them, message the LIBF community um, on their email, and they will be able to help you uh, with uh, with the visa procedure, etc. Now, Subhash Bhai, another uh, raving question comes from the business community. Uh, yes, we talked about personal security of coming there and the fear, et cetera. But people wanting to invest in the African countries and let's say Uganda per se, is there any documentation or some legal papers or legal way of doing business to make sure that there is some kind of guarantee that we're getting from the, the government or anything like that? Yeah, uh, I think it's a, it's a very good question. I Nobody... Nobody will give for business transactions, business investments. Nobody will give any kind of guarantee. So mm -hmm. I think it would be fair to expect Uganda or any other uh, countries to give any guarantee. But protection and protection through the law of the country is good and available and, and can be relied on fairly well. Uh, remember this, that we're all part of the Commonwealth. Large yes. of large numbers of the participants are part of the Commonwealth. This includes India and uh, East Africa and UK. So all the laws uh, in Uganda, in Kenya, Tanzania are originally the English laws, right? Which may have got some adoption and changes, like, like in India. But we will all feel comfortable about doing business there. Okay, so that's good. So there is some kind of uh, comfort zone, as we may call it talking to different businesses, how they are running their business over there, and then obviously getting some professional advice and help if need be. Yeah, and, and I would add one more thing, that in each of these countries, we have long established Lohana business people and our, and our, 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 our sort of community level of people as well, who can provide guidance and support. And that's another part of this conference, is to introduce all these people so that they can go and say, look, I need your help, right? I need your help. Would you be able to give me? And and uh, uh, I don't want to. There are a few things we're going to do at the conference, which are going to be 
pledges and announcement that we will make. But I don't. I won't open up everything at this stage. Sure. Uh, we'll, we'll surprise some of our, uh, our delegates at the time. Perfect. Okay, that's nice to hear. Very comforting. Very very good. I think it gives people a little bit more confidence in in coming there and and uh, getting more information. Now, Subhash Bhai, the next question once again will be focused on yourself. Um, being the convener, once again, I think you would probably have the best information on this. Now, some of these people, a lot of them are attending for the very first time, probably coming with some families also. Now, their concern question was, yes, the gents or the ladies who are business orientated will have the business seminars and will be very happy to do that. Um, what about the families or children who are coming? Is there any reservations for young business opportunities or people to have that people to have that uh, session where they can be motivated, inspired, or touristy stuff? Shed some light on that, if you may. Yeah, well, we we have uh, for those who might not fully participate in the conference, we have a number of facilities. Uh, we have excursions. We've got about four or five excursions for them to travel in and around uh, the city of Kampala and Mulyonio, where the resort is. So there's also a boat trip on the Lake Victoria. There's a trip to the sugar factory of Madhwani uh, and go to the source of the River Nile. Uh, and each of these trips will also have a visit to our temple. There's a city of Kampala too, where people will appreciate some of the Lohana contributions to that society over the years um, and, and, uh, and others that we will be doing. Uh, so that's that. But the, then there are, is that probably within the program, as I said earlier, we've got a, a session for women in business. We've got a session for uh, youths. Uh, and, and, and you know, this kind of conferences is are that when a group of people might come along and say, we want to talk about something else. We will just announce and provide them with the space and they will be able to go and have a discussion uh, in, uh, in any of the topics that they might like to participate or, or, or contribute to. So, but it's fair to say it's predominantly a business conference. It's there to generate business between Lohanas, promote business between Lohanas, create awareness of other Lohanas and their success. Uh, that's the, that's the, the uh, objective of it. Perfect. Thank you for sharing that also. Now, one of the questions that has come up is there was some inquiry and wanted to get some more information on about the exhibitors. What kind of exhibitors are there? And if there is a very quick process where they can get this information from. Now, I'm going to speed up a few questions because there are some burning two or three questions left. So we'll try and take short answers to these questions, if we may, and hopefully that satisfies the questions that have been asked. So if, you're, if you're a delegate, then you will be, get access to the app and you'll see the list of all the delegates as well as those who are exhibitors. So that's the wonderful point. So again, log on with the app, guys, uh, inquiring about the exhibitors. You'll get more information with them. Once again, the contact point will be the email going to the Lohana International Business Forum and uh, approaching both Subhash Pai and Vijay Bhai Karya for further information. Now, my next question goes to Vijay Bhai. Uh, my quick question to you would be, um, Vijay Bhai, this is the first one. You are in the business developing for the Lohana Mahaparishad. Is there a second one coming up? Yes. Wonderful. I... <laughs> second one coming up. There's a third one coming up. There's a fourth one coming up. This, this is important that we understand that what Subhash Bhai said. And just let me put in a few things which so that people are clear. Number one sure. is that app that we are launching in the next three to four days. And uh, like we are ready. We've tested it. It's exciting because your details, your exhibitor details come up, your delegate details come up, what business you are in, where you are. You can search on name of people. You can search on the business that you are in. You can search on the 37, 38 sectors that we have. You can search on the countries that you are interested in doing business with, et cetera. So this app is ready to launch the data is getting uploaded so every person who has registered and uh, lalit bhai let me share with you that actually when we started this conversation 
uh, amongst ourselves, we were anticipating to get about maybe 200, 250 people at the max. We, we negotiated with SPEC for 100 people. Uh, we have landed up with 1,000 plus registrations. And we have, as of the moment, verified and seen that more than 650 people have already paid their delegate fees and more are in queue. We, I mean, uh, Subhash Bhai uh, said that, you know, from the original 40 stands, we had to double it. No, I'm sorry, we have had to triple it. <laughs> We've come to 120 stands. Now, uh, like, like we said, like he said, and, you know, uh, there are plenary sessions and plenary sessions are of interest to everybody. There are breakout sessions. On that, there are one-on-one -on -one meetings. So to give you a small idea, Lalit Bhai, if you've registered on this app and you want to meet me, but you don't know me. So when you click on the app, you'll get a list of all the delegates. You'll get their photographs. You'll get their company name. You'll get the business that they are in. You just choose people as your favorites. And then you go and say that set up meetings. So an, you, an automatic mail from your side would go to me saying that, look, Lalit Bhai is interested in meeting you. Can you set up a time for meeting him at Uganda? So this is the kind of uh, provision that we are making. Uh, you can you know, scan your data. So we are providing badges where you can scan the exhibitor stalls. I mean, we are sending emails to people where they can, sitting out here, just give their artwork, upload their artwork, and the posters will be printed out there at a very nominal cost and, you know, given to you. So your, your life is very simple. You are being picked up from the airport and dropped back to the airport. And, uh, uh, you know, we, we are very excited with the huge amount of response that we've got. And... Uh, uh, we we understand that if you know we are to take this further, then it has to be uh, something which uh, goes beyond expectation. So, like as Subhash Bhai said, you know, let let's keep parde me rehne do, parda na uthao. You know, like we we want to keep the people uh, excited, and we are sure that I mean we are trying to do a good job. Now it all depends on everybody how uh, well they support us but it's going to be a very good event that much i can assure you one of the things that got missed out i think inadvertently from subhash bhai is that the president of uganda is expected to inaugurate this event wow and that, in, <laughs> that in itself shows the magnitude of uh, this event we are not going as a small batch of people we are going as an army so you know even as a security concern you've got a whole army behind you you know so don't worry about that uh, there's a lot of questions where people have asked some, somebody saying that we want to sponsor. Yes, you want to sponsor. Most welcome. We've highly subsidized this uh, event. It's, uh, you know, we've kept it at very, very low cost. And I must credit Subhash Bhai and Satish Bhai for negotiating. Uh, and Subhash Bhai is yet ongoing negotiations with Sudhir mm -hmm. Bhai, you know, to, to bring down the costs even further. And I must thank the 19 sponsors that we have got uh, so far uh, for uh, these events. So one of them is sitting uh, to, so. to my left, two of them to my right, and uh, so many people on the screen. So it's been a very, very generous uh, you know, event, and we are, we are happy to take any kind of uh, questions that people have. People are asking what like one of your questions, uh, Lalit Bhai, was that what kind of exhibitors? Everybody, you know, there are lots of exhibitors. Anybody who has want, want to put up a stand is there available. But uh, not just that, he, that person can set up one-on-one -on -one meetings. He can, uh, you know, people can go to his stand. So there are lots of people. Somebody has approached us and said that we are in the gem and jewelry business. We want to get uh, jewelry out there to... Uh, exhibit so get us customs clearance so that also we are trying to take care of uh, people right. are trying to their catalogs whatever so anything that you want just let us know we sure we'll try and 
accomplish it. I, I won't promise it, but yes, whatever we can humanly do, we will do it. Okay, wonderful. That's very, very kind of you, Vijay Bhai. Uh, again, ladies and gentlemen, the contact people are Mr. Subhash Bhai Takra, the convener, the chairperson of the Business Development Committee, Mr. Vijay Bhai Karya, and they have an email over there. Um, Vijay Bhai, would you just say out the email or a contact detail? For anybody, uh, Subhash Bhai also same with you, um, anybody wanting get to get more information on this Lohana International Business Forum? So in fact, all the people who have registered have must have got my emails, you know, continuously there is a set of emails going out sure. to the registered delegates and even to the unregistered ones. So we are telling them whoever is unregistered and uh, not paid, sorry, registered and not paid, if there is any reason, we are more than happy to accommodate. So let us know my emails have been sent. I'm sure everybody would have uh, got them. Perfect. And, uh, on, on today's chat box, if you can put your contact email or a number, Subhash Bhai, the same with you. If that's okay with you. So ladies and gentlemen, this is being put on the chat box. So if there's any contact detail that you want with them, please contact directly. One last question would be that there is a comment that has come up. When is the last date for registration? Already over. <laughs> can anybody who wants to come after this session, can they still go ahead yeah. and register? Uh, Lalit Bhai, we, we have actually closed the registration, but look, we will. We, if we can accommodate more people, we are going to do our best. Uh, or some of the reconciliations about who is going to be staying at the resort, there may be some people who might decide not to. And if we can accommodate people, we will definitely attempt to do so. Those who are interested, just connect with the Mahaparishad office. I have put in my own personal email ID if I can be of any help. But the best part, best point is to contact uh, Parishad office. Uh, uh, Bhai, maybe you can give the uh, the uh, email ID. I don't. Yes, uh, Weibo uh, is there. Weibo is there. Uh, can Weibo add, Weibo we are going to add on the chat box the, the main email ID that they can apply to and they can get more information about uh, the event. And by the way, the whole event is also going to be live streamed. Where Perfect. Thank you. That, uh, 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 in case people are not able to come, they might be able to follow through as well if they, if they want. Perfect. Thank you. I was going to ask you, is this going to be a live stream event? So people who are unable to attend can at least log in and find out what's going on. Is there a subscription fee for that logging in for an uh, on a virtual event? I, I don't think so. I okay. Think so. Thank, you. Thank you. We have Mr. Pratik Pai Cholera. Is that correct? Pratik Pai from Pratik International Rajkot. Uh, can we unmute him? Meena Ben? Okay, so while we are in the process of unmuting, uh, one of the other gentlemen who is on our session, Mr. Pradeep Bhai Damecha, if you can put your video on, we can spotlight you a quick question for yourself, if that's okay. Um, so yeah, the other question oh. that has come up is, if you are unable to attend the event, can we advertise if that is a, yeah, direct these questions that will come up on the email, we are running very short of time now, so we will have to move on. Thank you for that particular question. Appreciate it. But the any further questions? Is... Sorry? The answer to that is yes, you can do that. Thank you very much, Vijay Bhai. So any of the next few questions that are coming up, ladies and gentlemen, please put it forward to, on an email. Uh, Viber, if you can put the email on the chat box once again so that people have it. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Meena Ben, are we able to spotlight Pradeep Bhai? Mr. Pradeep Bhai yes. Dhamecha. We'll see him. Now he wants spotlight. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So while we are getting him on board and while we are trying to unmute Mr. Pratik Bhai Cholera, I want one final statement, Subhash Bhai. This has literally gone a little over an hour and a half, uh, which I thought was probably a very long session, but you can see that the interest generated is tremendous. So one final statement about the Lohana International Business Forum, Subhash Bhai. You'll regret it if you miss it. Ah, nice one. You'll regret it if you miss it. Uh, Chetan Bhai, coming to you. One final statement and a short statement, please. So I think we are all welcome to this new opportunity for all the Lohanas. 
and looking forward to celebrate, uh, share, and learn from each other. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Before I move on to the next one, we've got the details, the HANA International Business Forum for details on the first ever. Yeah, so let uh, look at the chat box. You get all the details there. The next one goes to uh, Satish Pai. Satish Pai, what is the one short final message for the Lohana International Business Forum? All businessmen and professionals must make the best out of it. Thank you. Um, Vijay Bhai, your uh, final statement. Look forward to seeing you all at Uganda on the 19th of March. Wonderful. Rashmi Bhai Chitwani. It's going to be a very unique event. Don't miss it. Join us. Perfect. Pratik Bhai Cholera, you've been able to unmute and now we have muted again. So what's going on? Can we unmute him, please? Okay. Uh, unable to unmute. Pratik Bhai, can you unmute? Okay, there yes, you go. I, okay. <clears throat> well, I got the details uh, on the chat box just now. So no other questions at present. And the registration has already stopped. So there is nothing else to which can move what can be done. Well, okay, can you can you liaise with the, with the committee? The yeah. possibilities I, could I, be there. Can, I, can we come here uh, for a second uh, to answer this? You know, suppose in, in selective cases, you know, wherever, they are very keen, you know, we are sending them the independent link. And they can still okay. connect and they can pay for the registration. Okay. So how 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 should I connect? Uh, should I just uh, give Pratik Bhai, I'll stop you there. Pratik Bhai, the email has been sent on the chat box. If you liaise okay. with Subhash Bhai, Satish Bhai, or Vijay Bhai, they will connect with you and they will make this possible for you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Wonderful. Uh, Meena Ben, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Meena Ben, is there any other... Uh, spotlight for Mr. Damecha. Can we do that? Is he on board? He's there. Pradipai, if you are uh, there, would you be able to put your video on and then we can just have a, a statement from you? Is the video is on. I can see him. Okay. Meena Ben, can you please spotlight Mr. Pradipai Damecha? Okay, Subhash Pai, while we are trying to do that, uh, we can just have a final few words. I think people are very excited about this event taking place. People are totally in tune with what's happening, really wanting to, to make this a huge success. Tell us a few things. What's, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, okay, Pradeepa is there. If you want to take him, uh, sure. then yes. uh, uh, we will allow him. That gives me time to think about what you would like me to say. Sure, sure. Pradipai, uh -huh. we need to unmute you. So, Meena Ben, if you can please unmute him and we can remove the other screen, please, if we can, for Mr. Cholera. Okay, so while Pradipai is being unmuted, let's let's see um, Subhash Pai. Okay, well, uh, you know something, uh, there's a kind of common feeling that uh, Lohanas are individually successful, but collectively we don't do enough. And, and our attempt at this conference is to change that. Now, it's going to yes. take us some time. It's not going to happen overnight. I want the next generation of Lohanas to become very proud of who we are. You know, and, and our history is quite unique, quite beautiful. And we need to uh, make sure that people are aware of that and, and, and benefit from that. So we're going to make efforts in that direction. And that is the message that I want to leave. Really. Wonderful. So Ekta, once again, that's what we were talking about earlier. And as we said, the Lohanani Ekta will lead to the Lohanani Shakti, will then lead to the Vijay of the Lohana community. And absolutely, that's the direction we are all aiming for. Subhash Pai, wonderful you said that. Um, Meena Ben, uh, is there any possibility of unmuting Pradeep Pai? Can we, can we try Pradeep Pai at your end? We have already yes. unmuted him. Yes, I'm unmuted. Ah, great. It just shows still muted on the on the screen. It shows muted. But anyway, yeah. nice. Welcome on this forum, uh, Pradeep. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Jessica. Jessica yeah, Shudol. Jaisi Krishna to you too. You know what? We are super excited to hear you being one of the keynote speakers at the Lohana International Business Forum. Tell us your thoughts. Give us your thoughts about this wonderful forum that's taking place. So it's a very exciting time. And obviously, thank you to the Lohana Maharishis for organizing this wonderful once in a lifetime event so far that we've ever had. 
so definitely looking forward to obviously connecting with a lot of like minded uh, business people there and more importantly also looking to make new friends as we uh, sort of you know meet in the relaxed environment at this big resort in Kampala so really looking forward to the event for sure oh that's wonderful that's going to be super exciting i think I think this just gives already goosebumps that this is not that far and it's going to happen very soon. So yeah, you're going to have some very successful people in the Lohana community coming in, talking to us about their business strategies, their motivational, what their mindset is all about. And my God, this is going to be a I, mega I, event. I should add that Pradipa at one stage was not able to come, but since he found out the enthusiasm that is going on, he agreed and we are very honored uh, to come. Even the same thing with the president as, uh, uh, of Uganda, who, you know, they do not attend private kind of group meetings, but there is, uh, he will be inaugurating uh, the, the launch. And these are quite good successes that we are already having. Absolutely. And you can already imagine the magnitude of this event is going to be huge. The energy there is going to be amazing. But Pradipai, I have a quick question for you before we part on this Zoom session. Is okay. that uh, we've been uh, wanting to, Meena Ben and myself, wanting you to come as our guest speaker in our future <laughs> Midla Zoom session, sharing, <laughs> sharing your mindset. And that's what we want you for. Can you commit and say yes? <laughs> Let me think about it, but I think what we need to do is we probably need to try and maybe get the youth of today to come in, come and probably participate in such events that you are trying to host for the future. <laughs> we are now past our sell by date. We need the youth and the young folks of today to try and bring that energy levels forward. <laughs> but don't forget, Pradeep, buy all this gold and we can get a lot out of the old is gold. So we need that you. And you're not by any means, you're not old. So <laughs> <laughs> sure. I think it's a very it exciting sure. session. <laughs> it will be a very inspiration, motivational session for the youngsters who are budding for business to get some kind of mindset that you have where you've yeah. created such a huge empire. So lovely to say that. Stay on board, ladies and gents. We have had this wonderful session on the Lohana International Business Forum. And I'm now truly excited to move on to the next section of the Minla Zoom session, which is our rapid fire round with our guests. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a very quick question, very quick answer for, with the keynote speaker. Subhash Bhai, are you ready with this? Yeah, ready for it. Okay, we have very short, very brief, 12 questions. We'll try and make it a very, very short statement answer. We are ready on the Minla Zoom session with our guest speaker, Subhash Bhai Takra. Question number one, Lohana Mahaparishad. One of the events to attend, what, what, a lifetime event. That is the Lohana International Business Forum of 2023. Okay. And Mahaparishad is, the, is a parent body for that. Perfect. The continent of Africa. Something that you need to discover once again because there is a huge potential. The name Mukesh Ambani. I'd like to be him. The name Mr. Uday Kotak, a Lohana. A leading Lohana banker in India. Whose career in particular inspires you? I would say my own. The <laughs> biggest challenge facing businesses in Africa today? The lack of recognition by the rest of the world. By the way, I like your answer to the question whose career inspires you. Absolutely super, star on. Uh, one secret of why Lohanas are such successful businessmen. It is in our blood, it's in our DNA. And I recommend everybody to do the DNA and they'll discover. I think there should be an exhibition stall for that at the Lohana Business Forum. <laughs> one word to describe the Lohana International Business Forum. It's an event not to be missed. The country, Uganda. Pearl of Africa. One message to the views. Uh, uh, one message to the viewers regarding the Lohana International Business Forum. It's a business meet. You will gain and benefit from uh, connecting with other business people of our community. Wonderful. The last question, Dr. Lalit Soda's a rapid fire round. Oh, what a fantastic uh, 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 event! And you conducted it beautifully. 
and and Mina Benz overseeing it. I think it's a it's a great addition to our society. Well done. Thank you. Uh, once again, two very proud Lohanas, Meena bin Kagram and myself. So we are truly excited about it. Being part of the Lohana Kshatriya community, we are the warriors. We fought through COVID and we have reached our 99th session, which we are very proud. So we're waiting for the 100th session next month. Ladies and gents, a quick thank you to all the guest speakers. But before I do that, we want our president of the, the chairperson of the Business Development Committee, Mr. Vijay Vaikarya, to honor this session by giving a vote of thanks to our keynote speaker, the convener of uh, the Lahana International Business Forum. Vijay Bhai, few words as a thank you. We need to unmute Vijay Bhai. I know we need, we've got this muting unmuting issue. Okay, great. So I Vijay, go ahead. Uh, Subhash Bhai, and to all the people who are there, and uh, to our friends who are, I'm honored to be sitting with, a uh, big thank you. I think uh, Satish Bhai said in the beginning that Subhash Bhai has been an absolute pillar, and I would say a lighthouse for this event and for any problem, big or small, any kind of guidance, he's been, I would say, the biggest find of LIBF uh, in uh, yeah, the, the Kohenur of uh, the whole business development committee. And I mean, I, I can say for sure that, uh, you know, our friendship has grown to such an extent that uh, I think we talk to each other more than we talk to our wives. So, <laughs> Thank you so much, Vijay Bhai. That was very, very kind of you. And I love the statement. He's the Kohinoor of the LIDF. That's so nice. Very sweet. Meena Ben, this session doesn't come to an end till we have our lady who formally starts it traditionally starts it and formally ends it. Meena went on the floor to say a vote of thanks to this wonderful LMP community and to our keynote speaker, Mr. Subhashpa. Jai Raghu and Si. Habari a journey to all. Good evening all. This is my pleasant and humble duty to end this session with the heartiest thank you to Mr. Satish Bhai, Vijay Bhai, and Dugu Subhash Bhai, Asandi Sana. Thank you all beautiful souls. Asandi Sana to all the viewers on Facebook Live and those who have logged live on this Zoom session. Can't end my thank you without saying big thank you to my cute cousin, Dr. <laughs> Lalit Soda, and our co-star, Ali Bhai. Ali, thank you. Hi, everyone. Thank you all. Kwaherini. Jai Raghuans. See you all in Kampala, the Pearl of Africa. Thank you all. Over to you, Lalit. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Subhash Pai. Thank you, all the speakers who came on board. We, on behalf of Minla, Mina Ben, and myself, are truly delighted and super excited about this Lohana International Business Forum. Guys, we can't wait to see you there. We've got some successful business people already on the Zoom here. Asmuk Radia, hello. Guys, we're going to open up this session. If you have any particular questions, let's respect the voiceover of everybody. But if you have a specific question, Subhash Pai is here to stay with us for a few minutes. And so is the LMP community, the four, the quadruplets over there sitting in one living room. So if you have any quick questions, we can entertain them. Ladies and gents, thank you very much. Watch out for our 100th session on Mindless and Session coming up in the month of April. Wait, you're supposed to fear. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Done. Mm -hmm. Radia from Nairobi, any quick questions? Uh, no, no, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Satish Bhai Vitlani, for organizing all this. It's a great event and all the best. Thank you. We look forward to meeting all of you. Yes, a, a very successful businessman in his own rights, Hasmuk Radia from Nairobi. Thank you, Hasmuk Bhai. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> no. Satish Bhai, that is not fair. Tame 